Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for November 3rd, the 3rd into the 4th. This is for all signs. We're just going to see whatever comes up. I haven't used this deck in forever, like <laughs> a year probably, so we'll see what happens. We're just going to start fresh. Look at that shit. They're already dropping. That one just flipped right over. <laughs> and it's the Six of Cups. Anyway, it literally, I mean, I think you guys may even see it flip over in my deck, in my hand. I can't wait to rewatch this. But the Seven of Pentacles expecting something, perhaps from your past. Now, there's a deep connection with the devil. And it could be toxic. I'm not sure. But this is a temptation. I mean, so you may be tempted to do something. Ooh, with the Ace of Cups. Now, that's the, that's, that is crazy that those cards flipped over, don't you think? Then again, crazy shit happens to me every day, as you guys are very well aware of. Um, so we, we have a strong connection here. The devil is a strong connection. It's hard to resist whatever temptation is brought into your life. It's literally irresistible, all right? Something from your past, perhaps, should come up, or it may come up, and this could just be memories. This is nostalgia, okay? Something, and usually this is something that... brings you back, you know? These are memories that bring you back. Oh my goodness gracious. Five of Wands. There's been some sort of competition here. Somebody may have been playing games. Oh my goodness. Now you gotta look at what me what's mirroring. It's some memories of the love. Okay, there's memories of love here. But there's also been some tension. Or there's some tension right now. You could be re getting ready, you know, you could be receiving some re rewards. It looks like it's ready to be harvested, really. I mean, it's gotten to the point where it's ready to be picked and put in the basket and taken away. She's got the ladder and everything. She's about ready to do some picking. All right, so... And she may have many options. I'm not sure what this is, but let's see what happens here something to do with memories making a choice oh, we got more flippers oh my goodness six 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 in the devil card ha 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 let me just clear up that myth for you six 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 is not a devil number it's not 666, 666 is a time of reevaluation. It's the journey towards balance and harmony. You think about sixes. Sixes are about balance and harmony. Six, and this is the journey to balance and harmony. That's what sixes are. So, sixes is a time of reevaluation um, about the choices that you've made. Okay? So, it looks like. Things have not been balanced. Things have not been with the Six of Pentacles. There could be a loss, okay? There could have been a loss of money or a loss of balance or somebody may have been involved in a one-sided situation where there wasn't equal give and take. Somebody wasn't putting in effort. One person was, one person wasn't. Somebody is moving on. They're headed in a new direction. They've reevaluated the situation. 
It looks like somebody's going to take what they got and, and, and go. Like I said, just, I'm going to take what I got. I'm going to take what's left. I'm going to take what's available and go. Ooh. Yikes. Now, we got at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups. There could be some sorrow, some grieving, some sadness, even some regrets. Somebody is focused on some sort of hurt, not realizing that there's another opportunity. Or maybe they even do realize there's another opportunity, but they can't accept that other opportunity because of something that they're going through. Somebody's definitely not putting in energy and effort into a situation. They're, it's like they're giving up the fight. You know, I'm, I'm giving up this situation. I'm tempted. I'm going. I'm moving. I'm headed in a new direction. For sure. Because this one-sided bullshit is not serving me. If I can't get anything out of you, if you're not going to put in any effort, if you don't have any ambition to grow, then I might as well. Go find my passion someplace else. Go find my... Well, passion someplace else. What more can I say? Somebody's not being fulfilled. I'm not getting what I need. And they're tempted to look elsewhere. They're tempted to go elsewhere. I mean, it's like there's there's no passion here, so I'm going to... You know, I'm going to do what I have to do to get have my desires met. I mean, the devil card is about desires. So somebody has these desires that are not being fulfilled. And it looks as though they, they probably get engaged with somebody for, you know... Reasons of lust, perhaps, and maybe they end up falling in love. They are started out playing a game. You know, this is just, you know, this is just a game. I'm, I'm going to, I'm just going to, maybe this is, I'm not going to put all my eggs in one basket. I'll leave them up there and I'll take one at a time. You know, there's multiple opportunities right here. And perhaps somebody says, you know, if you're not going to put in effort, this person from the past isn't going to put in effort, I'm going to move on. I'm going to choose a new opportunity, go out and play, and it, you end up falling in love. So, you know, if that's the case, you could be that person that falls in love with somebody unexpectedly starts out as sexual and turns into love just saying we do have a you know a new opportunity for love but you may not want to commit to that because you're not looking to build a strong foundation at this time Somebody has been staying in a situation that was unstable.
and they've been probably waiting for this to be rebuilt. I think there's a foundation that had broken down and they've been waiting for it to be rebuilt, but it's not being rebuilt. It can't be rebuilt. So it looks to me as though somebody is finding their, or they're being asked to have faith and trust in a new partnership by the looks of things. Somebody has planted their, decided to plant their seeds in a new garden. Because wherever they're at, wherever they were at in the past, there was no receiving. You weren't, you weren't giving me what I need. You're not fulfilling my desires. And because those desires aren't being met, there's a new opportunity for love that could lead to a commitment. And I think this is not what this person was looking for. Wasn't looking to fall in love with you. But here we are. So I feel like there is a commitment on the way that you may be trying to avoid or you weren't planning on getting into. This may be with somebody that you have known before. Could it be somebody that, you know, you played with as a child? Because I keep seeing playing. Maybe this was a, a former playmate. <laughs> Yay. So, uh, you know, I feel like there is an opportunity for love that is coming in that wasn't uh, predicted. You know, you didn't think that you were going to fall in love. That wasn't the what you were going for. Um, whatever is happening with these 666 is going to cause you to reevaluate. It's going to cause you to reevaluate re re the current situation that you're in. All of a sudden, there's this deep attraction that is irresistible that has been thrown at you. And you're probably going to have to make a choice. Okay? You're going to have to make a choice as to whether you want to keep playing this game, whether you want to fall in love. What are you going to do? There's some regrets. There is absolutely some regrets here. It's like you don't know what, somebody doesn't know what to do. There could, there's probably an end of one relationship and the beginning of another. Okay? So, somebody is moving in a new direction. Because they were involved in a one-sided situation with somebody that they have a lot of memories with, but there was no more growth. So they decide they have decided to plant their seeds in another garden. Perhaps it started out as lust, you know, or some sort of desire that needed to be met. Now this desire has led to love. And perhaps, you know, now there's an opportunity for commitment. And you're being called to really, really give this a chance with the Hierophant card. Have faith in love. Somebody um, is being called to listen to their inner guide. Really, really step back and listen. Give Listen because you're receiving messages Okay, if, if somebody has been involved in, in staying in a false foundation, you can only stay for so long before it does break down. If it wasn't built stable, it's not going to last. And somebody has. Somebody has been staying in a situation that is already unstable. It's already broken. All it needs is that big, oh, 
uh, gust of wind and it's going to break. It's going to break. Okay. So you may have been trying to avoid this tension that is happening at this time or is about to happen. You may have been trying to avoid this change and you may be avoiding it for a minute. But it looks as though this is something that is probably unavoidable. This is, has to do with, with karma as well. Okay, there's some karmic situation here that is pushing someone in a new direction in which they have been reluctant to go in that direction because they didn't want to deal with the tension and the conflict. But... Now, there's a time of reevaluation for real because love is involved. Love is involved. It's like, this is, this. I'm falling in love with you. I'm falling in love with you. So, today is a day, perhaps, of, or tomorrow, or whatever the energies are of dealing with your inner conflict in regards to moving in that new direction towards love. I mean, what more can I say? Do I see that new love is coming in? Probably yes, I do. I do. I think there's a new opportunity for love that started love and, you know, it started out as sex, okay? That's what it looks like to me. It looks like it started out as, you know, desires being met or lust or a sexual attraction either. Whether there's somebody has, has done it or not, it's like this, this attraction is beyond words. Because wherever they've been, there hasn't been, the attraction has died. The fire has been put out. I mean... There has. It's like the fire has been put out and now there's a new opportunity for love that you can't deny because the attraction is so strong. It's somebody that you probably feel very, very, very comfortable with. Maybe even knew this person before. Maybe the seeds were planted years ago. Year, maybe years and years and years and years ago and now it's time to harvest. I think whoever this person is, is it's somebody from your past that you have known before. And I don't say, they, if I can talk this morning, I don't necessarily think it's your ex. And I know a lot of people, you are so hung up on their ex. And when they hear somebody from the past, they're like, oh, no, I don't want somebody from my past. <laughs> Get a fucking grip. Okay. Somebody from your past it could be somebody that you grew up with. Who could it be? How many people have you met in your lifetime? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> anyway, this person is somebody that you have known. For a long time. Somebody that you have known for a really long time. Is probably going to fall in love with you. Or you're going to fall in love with them. And it's going to be unexpected. Somebody has been sacrificing their time, wasting their time in a false foundation. But it looks as though there's going to be some sort of conflict that changes everything. Five, five, 
Five. Major life choices, major life changes. Five, five, five. Conflict. Expect the unexpected. There's somebody that you have known before that is coming back into your life. The seeds were planted a long, long, long time ago. And there's going to be an instant desire to be with this person. At first, it starts as lust and turns into love and could lead to commitment. There's gonna, it's going to make you feel conflicted internally. You're not going to know what to do, but your heart is going to lead the way. So ex with 555, five, five, when you see 555 five, five, on the clock, on a license plate, anywhere, expect the unexpected. What is happening at this time is going to change your life. It's going to let, help you to let go of the old and bring in the new. 555 five, five is major life changes. Expect the unexpected. Stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. And you may need to. Maybe you take somebody with you on this retreat. So I feel like there is some sort of... New opportunity that is presented that probably is irresistible and changes your life forever. Hey, let's see what happens, right? Talk to you next time.